What's going on guys? Welcome. You will soon notice that as I speak, it is not matching up with what I'm saying on the camera. Yes, I have messed up. I have ruined episode 10. But fear not. We will go through episode 10 in sped up form and slow down at the parts that are important. The parts that you don't want to miss. This is an exciting episode. I'm so terribly sorry that it got messed up. But what would have been episode 11 is now episode 10 part 2. Included in this video. It's only one video. But we're going to speed up the real episode 10 and then get into episode 10 part 2. So let's pick up the speed! As you can see, it's taken me 10 episodes to realize what the heck the cores do and how to put them on your Nexamon. But we finally did it and now our Nexamon finally stand a chance. Crazy-ass tyrant, Chroma, the Abyssal Tyrant. It was Grandmaster Dina who took this one down before he could reach the Immortal Citadel and devour it. What's the point of defending that city? Their people, well, you know. Beats me. Dina always seemed oddly attached to that place. We caught a Mimi! Oh yeah, oh yeah! This is my excitement. Woo! We caught a mine! And then we found this shrine. That must be the path to the desert. The entrance to Ignitia has to be somewhere nearby. If we can find an elemental shrine there, we might be able to hatch our own tyrant egg. Did you know that the guild has a big outpost in the desert? We should check it out sometime. Then we got a Seedco. Oh yeah, a new Nexamon. Let's do this. And as you can see, we've caught a Rappi. And to mark off our 30th Nexamon, we got Rubby, a little cute mouse with a little chip taken out of its ear. Got another one, we caught a Blitz, a fire type Nexamon. We find a little bit more about these desert people. Look, uh, my people, the Latyrians, they don't really like your people in the guild. Heck, it's almost a law for us to be mean to you, so I kind of need to kick you out. We continue to fight this guy, beat his butt, and uh, yeah, these Latyrians do not like guild teams. This is a dangerous place to be. Guys, coming up is perhaps my favorite moment in Nexamon Extinction so far. You don't want to miss this moment. It is so, so exciting. Here we go. Cruff evolves. Look at my initial reaction. Look at my face. I am so excited to see the evolve form. And there it is, guys. There's Croncho. Croncho, look at how badass he is. I love Cruff. I love Cruff because he looks so small and cute, but look at Croncho. Look at how awesome Croncho is. You're gonna wanna watch this one in real time. Here we go, guys. Look at that. And the music to go along with it. Look at that. Whoa, look at that thing. They call it Grunda's Chasm. Legend says that a whole city used to stand here, but it collapsed after a huge monster crawled out from underneath. Grunda's Chasm. That is insane. I was freaking out when I saw this. That's how the story goes, at least. Here's Emily. At the bottom of the chasm, we built the city of New Ignitia. Why would you bother doing that? If Grunda was truly as fearsome as the legend goes, we figured that no tyrant would dare step into his domain. 
Huh? That's not a terrible idea. Did it work? No, not at all. In fact, a tyrant is terrorizing Ignitia as we speak. A tyrant down there! The nerve that he has attacking right in front of me. I will rally my tamers. I will reclaim my city. This is not a battle for bronze tamers. Stay put. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to organize our mission. We are in the desert. On our way to Ignitia, on our way into that chasm. Alright guys, we're entering the guild outpost here, figuring out what's going on. Huh? Why are you here? Don't even bother, I can handle this whole tyrant thing alone! But Emily isn't even letting bronze tamers fight the tyrant. You rookies don't know how to negotiate with an adult. I'll beg and cry and make her uncomfortable in front of everybody. She'll have no choice but to let me in. I can't even tell if you're serious. Ah, it's our turn! Oh, great. What is that supposed to mean? Why can't you take on normal jobs? You're bronze tamers! You can't stop me from being, making bad decisions. Ugh. Fine, fine. You can act as backup. And Ross is all excited. He goes running out to go help. Argentavis, Ross is not someone I can reason with. I need you to look after that jerk. Mulsimer is the very powerful tyrant of fire. You may want to prepare a team to counter him. The desert around us has plenty of mineral-type Nexamon, and then the frozen tundra has water-type Nexamon. <laughs> you can see me freaking out because I called them Pokemon yet again. Climb down the chasm to meet with your teammates. Don't be too reckless, Argentavis. Okay, this is our this is our summary of our quest here. Descend in Grundra's chasm. And we do end up capturing a new Nexamon, Chowser. And another one, Lumpy. And that pretty much wraps up what we did in the real episode 10. Now let's carry on to a full length episode. Thank you guys, and stay tuned. All right guys, welcome into episode 10 of Nexamon Extinction. Uh, as you just saw, the last episode kind of got messed up audio wise, so hopefully uh, it wasn't uh, so bad after I edited it down. Uh, but that's okay because we're left off at the best part. Now I want to start off with three things. One, this episode we're going to fight the fire tyrant. Do you hear that epic music? It is leading up to this very moment. Now I also figured out, second thing here, how to get those followers. Someone told me you have to go into profile. Uh, profile, you see the top left there, profile at the, at the start screen. And we have three of these unlocked. This one's equipped. Uh, I just went ahead and equipped that, but we can equip this guy. And we have this guy over here. So these are some Nexamon companions that we have. And you can see our total playtime, our total Nexamon caught, and our reputation level, which I still don't know what that means. But as you can see, we're finding out stuff almost every episode. Uh, and we're going further into the story as well. And the third thing, what was the third thing? Did I already say three things? Well, anyway, I'll make one up. The third thing is, I hope you guys enjoy the episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Uh, I am a lot. Oh, and now we have this crazy guy following us. Uh, we'll keep that for now. I've healed up, and I'm ready to get started. I feel like checking to make sure my mic's working. Let's check. Yes, it is. It's working. All right, let's do this. The companion's a little slow. Come on, buddy. Here we go, guys. Okay, not the tyrant I was expecting. It's just a bunch of people down here. All right, Finn. All right, fellas, our mission is plain and simple. Descend to Ignitia, kick down the gates, and beat up the tyrant, Mulsimer. Ooh, I like this guy, says Ross. But sir, Mulsimer alone destroyed the entire city. Yeah, shouldn't we wait for Grandmaster or something? Relax, rookies, I'm a gold tamer. A gold tamer? I think we're still bronze. Absolutely nothing will go wrong on this mission. 
Coco says something will absolutely go wrong in this mission. There he is. There's the comedic relief that we need. Now, let's get going. We got a tyrant to hunt. The music in this game is actually surprisingly very good. Uh, I mean, as you saw in the beginning of this video, I was jamming to the, uh, the heavy rock, the metal-ish sounding music in the desert leading up to this moment. I wonder how good this gold tamer is. The city was built as deep as possible to serve as a stronghold against the tyrants and other threats. Evidently, that didn't work out. Wow, there's nowhere to run, huh? You said it, bud. The guild tried to build bases in all sort of extreme environments, hoping to deter the tyrants. Underground, underwater, skyward, you name it. In the end, all of them succumbed one way or another. This reminds me of Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza from Pokemon. But no, this game is not Pokemon. This game is phenomenal. This game is truly amazing. Oh, God! Hey, what was that sound? Uh, this must be the part where everything goes wrong. Even the Gold Tamer is worried. What is that? That thing is sick! Oh, epic thumbnail time! Did you see Coco at the bottom there? Uh, it's a dragon, sir! Yes, I can see that fool, but why? Dragons rarely ever go deep underground. Oh, this is a dragon, not a tyrant. This doesn't make any sense. Dragons are good, right? Incoming, sir! Brace yourselves, he can't beat all of us. Oh no, dragons are not good! Oh my god! The two insignificant people just fell off the elevator. Why is the dragon attacking us? They're only supposed to hunt tyrants. It's coming again, sir. Hold tight, we're almost at the base. Just a little longer. Oh god! Oh no, what do we do now? This is your fault, Argentavis. This sort of thing only happens around you. You know, he's right. Maybe I'm the king of tyrants, you know? And that's why it happens. That's why the dragons are so angry at me. Oh my god, do we have to fight this thing? Oh, he knocked us down. Okay. The elevator's broken. That's not good. Hey, Argentavis, wake up. Maybe if I... Argentavis, the dragon got your arms! Well, it worked when he said they got my legs at the beginning, if you guys remember that. Get used to it. I can't find the others. They might have fallen near the city. Let's hurry. We can't just stand here with a dragon nearby. It's a good thing we're fully healed, but there is a crystal there, in case we need it. The city of Ignitia. We finally made it, guys. I think I said at the beginning of episode 9 that we would make it to the city of Ignitia. This is technically episode 11, but uh, we're in episode 10, officially. Okay, I just want to see what's over here. Mine shard. When there's so many directions, I get confused. What's this guy doing? Chugging milk? Ever since Tyrant Molsimer showed up, the heat has become unbearable. This place sucks. You live in a volcano. I want to check out the wild Pokemon. Damn, I mean Nexamon. Oh, it's a porklet. All right, let's take him out. Ooh. All right. He uses that again. It's not doing anything to me. Unless it was taking down stamina. Oh, yes! We gotta show you guys Croncho without it being sped up full speed. Our first evolution, too. Also, I was, uh... Sorry, forgot where the keys were. I was talking to my sister. She started playing this game. Ooh, Colfer, a new one. And the first Nexamon that she saw was a shiny. It was a shiny cow thing. It, oh, we killed it. It was a shiny Nexamon. I don't think we have seen a shiny one yet. I'm not sure if we have. It's hard to tell because I don't know what they look like. But where are we? Okay, let's go. Let's head down here. But she got a shiny first try. That's insane, right? I was reading that the odds are like 1 in 4,000. Then it's 1 in 3,500 as you get later in the game. And then 1,000... Sorry, God. 1 in 3,000 as you get to late game. Every Nexamon you catch, 
ups or decreases the increases the odds by two. So there's 381 Nexamon. Uh, so 762. Uh, you can decrease the odds by. So technically, by the end of the game, you're at about 2,300. One in 2,300. Let's try to catch this guy here. I don't want to kill it. So let's do this. 27% or 52 with a fire. Let's just try a regular Nexa trap. I L K J J I J K. All right, we caught it. Kofer, the first new Nexamon of episode 10. A scorching pebble with a magma core, which is also forms its one eye. When chasing it, be careful not to trip on its trail, or sh your shoes might melt. Jesus. Anyways, guys, that's a new Nexamon. I finally remembered. Oh, my God. Okay, I remembered what the third thing I was going to say. Is that episode one finally released by the time this episode's being recorded? I know I recorded much ahead, but I'm just too excited. I have to play. Episode one is finally out, and we had a comment saying they want Noki, or people were saying about nicknames. We had some suggestions for Noki. We had Tavis. Whoa, what the heck is that? We had Tavis, Tavi, RG, spelled with an, a Y at the end, and RG spelled with an I E at the end. I'll think about it. We'll see what fits him best, but it also got to kind of fit in with what uh, his evolutions look like, which we don't know yet. I imagine the bird will get big and fierce looking because I feel like that's a, a common thing in birds, at least in the Pokemon. Um, and we also had a comment saying they want... Oh my god, I love that thing. It looks like a Digimon. Tilly Amber, Mega Rare Fire. We also had a comment from Asgard's Champ. He wants, he doesn't care which one. He wants anyone named, uh, named after him. Asgard's Champ. Unless it's a derpy one, he wants it Asgard's Chump. So I don't know which one we'll name yet. Again, it's difficult because the team will probably change. This is probably not the final team. I mean, there's just so many next to them. But, uh, we'll have to think about that. Whichever one fits Asgard's Champ. So, uh,. We'll have a think. You can comment below as well if you have any thoughts, if you want to include a nickname. Again, I am recording ahead, but episodes are finally being released, so I'll soon see those comments that you've left. Uh, anyway, Hydrosphere, let's do it. Gotta get focused on the gameplay. Oh, a Moonette, another new one. These guys have some pretty cool looking ones. Alright, do one of those and we should be done. Oh, okay. That one did a little less that time. All right, we did good. Oh, he still has this guy left. Okay. Uh, Hydra Spirit takes the least amount of stamina. Okay, he healed. But not too bad. Oh yeah, we finished him off. Croncho is a beast. And uh, I freaking loved Cruff. Nothing good can come from that Rex City. Forget about it. I freaking loved Cruff so much. But Croncho is pretty cool too. It just sucks that you can't have both. You know what I'm saying? Alright. This looks like... That looks like where we're supposed to go. There was still a direction that we hadn't checked out. So I will go there. Gotta get it all through. This is a walkthrough after all. And hopefully... Uh... I use that. Oh, I should have used that after I went down here. Alright. All right, I'm sure we'll come back this way. So we'll just talk to these people. Oh, a Rust. All right, we don't have this guy, but I have seen this guy. Okay, good. We got him down to five health. All right, let's see. That does 28. Okay, we'll just stick with the normal one because we're, we're pretty low on the elemental ones. Okay, J-J-L-I-I-J-J. All right. Getting good, getting good at those. Yeah, so hopefully the episodes will start catching up. Uh with when you see it with, from when I'm recording. Obviously, eventually I'm gonna finish recording. And, uh, oh my God, I can't wait to finish this series because I'm having such a blast playing. I don't mean because I wanna get it over with. This game is so fun. All right, Blasted Tyrants. There really is nowhere safe in this world. Sorry, buddy, but most of wrecked the path ahead. You'll have to find another way to the city. Okay, I think we found that. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. XP is XP. The city has been in disarray since the tyrant attack. This is my chance to rob some rookie tamers. You calling me a rookie man? 
I'll show you. You got a parch into level 13, though. That's pretty good. We got a 16 Noki, and I don't mean to brag, but Noki is ultra rare and ultra freaking strong. So you better watch out, because he just wiped you out. Oh! Did we just see the evolved form of Porky? Of, of Porklet? That is, that is pretty cool. He's level 13 and our Porklet's level 12. Is that the evolved form? I was not imagining that. I don't know, because again, kind of like with Cruff and Croncho, how I love Cruff and I love Croncho. I just wish you could have both. Because Porklet, I love. It's my Porky, you know what I'm saying? But that thing is really cool. And what the hell is a Blitz Strong Mega Rare here? Water Blast it. We're effective against it. 57 health. Oh good, he missed, he missed, he missed. Okay, let's swap out. He's got 19 health left. We need some XP. We'll try our luck with Zuma. Come on, Zuma. Don't die on me. Okay, never mind, never mind. He's too strong against Zuma. We'll go Griff. I'm sure we'll make it to the city soon, so hopefully we can heal. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't use that elemental uh, healing shard. Oh my god, everyone's just getting wiped. Let's try Porky. Maybe we'll be faster than him. Speed, 87. Oh, I forgot that doesn't do anything. What does it do? Increases critical hit rate by 30. Let's try Fireball. Oh, man. Dumb, dumb, dumb. All right, Croncho can finish it off. We should have just left with it, Croncho. All right, we took him out. That was a scare for a minute there, but Croncho is level 14. Eek, you were stronger than I thought. I'm not gonna rob anyone ever again. Just, just, just let me go. Yeah, I don't believe you. All right, our companion's quite cool. It'll be, it'll be nice to get some uh, Nexamon that we know and love to follow us. So, did we not go up here? No, I don't believe so. I think we were headed to the right direction the first time. Oh, but we would have missed this chest with a mineral whistle. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That makes it mineral Nexamon easier to catch. Hey, are you sure we should be going this way? I don't think Ross fell around here. I guess it can't hurt to look around though. Does this mean we should come here later? Oh, I don't think I've... Oh, don't even think about using that cave. My friends are inside grabbing all those pretty shards. We're gonna make a fortune. Go find your own cave. Lumifer, all right. Oh, maybe we should head to the city though, because I did say in this episode, we'll, we will fight the tyrant. Okay, we'll come back to this cave later. Don't let me forget. But maybe it's not that big of a cave. Okay, we'll just step inside. All right, let's 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 hurry up, Croncho. Let's do this. Gets a lot of fire types here. Okay, he switches to a mineral. That thing looks amazing. We're gonna heal up for the potion. Oops, not on Noki. On Croncho. Because the uh, mineral seems to not be very effective on us, which is great. Great to hear. But we are a little low on stamina, so let's stick with the Hydrosphere. Okay, we do have enough to do it again. Okay, good, we went first. This last guy, only a little bit of health. We don't have enough stamina. So we're gonna switch out to Churin. We should be fine, Churin is a badass, and he misses. One health left, really. Let's do that again. All right, let's see the XP numbers. Griff, leveled up to level 13. Learned a new skill, Howling Winds. Deals high wind damage with high accuracy. You jerk, there are lots of caves out there. Find your own. Whatever, you unfair fair and square, I guess. There's a lot of, okay. Okay, this cave's pretty big. We're gonna come back. We'll come back. We'll come back after we've done what we need to do in the city. Okay, remember it's up here. Again, don't let me forget. 
All right, we're fighting Duh, a rare that we don't have. All right, Croncho. Get a hit in. All right. What's it like to Nexa trap you? Pretty low. Pretty low, so... We'll take our chances. Oh crap, we didn't even have enough stamina anyway. Alright. Let's just do a bite. We don't want to kill this thing. Okay, that's pretty good. I, I, I'm happy with that. So now it's 26%. Okay. Alright, let's try it out. K, K, I, J, K, L, J, L. I'm going to be a pro by the time we reach episode 20, 30, or whatever. Or however far we get. Duh was caught. A spectral Nexamon from the Far East. Information about it is sparse at best. Duh. Duh is added to your database. And left, did we go over here? Whoa. What the heck are we looking at here? That would also be a good thumbnail. This is but one of hundreds of foolish tyrants who have dared to terrorize our world. After a long battle, Xanders himself claimed victory against this vile monstrosity. I was a kid when Xanders defeated Bracchus. You should have seen it. The battle actually took place up there in the desert, but Xanders pushed Bracchus into the chasm. Let's maneuver around those Nexamon here. This is so crazy! How can a Nexamon grow so powerful? This generation of tamers are in for a tough time. But have no fear. Tapluff? I love it! A nice little normal type versus normal type battle. We're probably gonna die, but. Ah, hoping we can get one more hit. Okay, Churin is the last alive, so we need to find a healing spot right away. But let's capture it first. 25% chance. K, J, 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 L, J, L, I. Alright. Tail Buff is caught. We got some good luck this episode. An apprentice of inner martial arts, it seeks to learn the ways of softness and are already masters of fluffiness. Aww, tape love. Okay, a chest is over here. Good, good, good. A loom companion. Okay, that is cool. Is that the starter? I think it is. Let's change to that guy. Yeah, there we go. We got a little fire dog to follow us. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I like that. Stop shaking. Stop shaking. Oh, there we go. We want to get to the uh, tyrant in this episode. So let's do it. Let's do it. It's a poil. We can just wipe it out. I love you, poil. But you're dead. Churin just taking in all the XP. Good job, Churin. Level 17. Was it level 17? Maybe I'm assuming. All right, we go down here. I believe this is the right way. Yes, here we go. To the city of Indicia. Oh my god, please let me heal. Please let me heal. Please let me heal. Whoa, who's that guy in front of him? the guy we have to fight. Ross is down, everybody. Another amazing thumbnail opportunity. My god, this episode. Mm, yes, people of a new Ignitia, listen to your new lord. I have freed you from the shackles of the guild. I have brought meaning to your poor and tasteless existence. Now you serve me. You little rat, serve me and my tyrant, the invincible Mulsimer. Dear peasants, together we will conquer the world above through fire and ash. Trust my every word, trust them for I am Jin, the, tac the master tactician. Ha 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 ha. I'm not good at those laughs. Out of breath. Look at that thing. An evil fire bat monster. Oh no, look over there, that's Ross. He's being held hostage by that tyrant. There must be something we can do. Well, yeah, I'm a whoop its ass. After I heal, of course. Healing, healing, healing. This looks like a healing spot. 
Are you planning to fight while simmer? You will need your next one in top shape then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You look a little tattered. Why are you crying? There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. Oh, there is. Okay, first we'll just activate that. I know there's a monster terrorizing the city and everybody's waiting on me, but let's activate it. Okay, we got a shop there. We don't need that yet. We'll talk to these people after. A couple of them, I mean. All right, Jin. You're on. Uh, Argent Tavis, the final piece of the puzzle has arrived. The Tamer, who almost defeated Atlanta and her tyrant of Frost, yes. I acknowledge your strength, Argent Tavis, and as such, I extend to you a most wonderful offer. An offer? Oh yes, a most excellent trade. Atlanta, that scum has dared to hide nearby. I cannot ignore her dangerous tyrant, nay. So I want you to hunt her down. I want you to defeat her once and for all. Only then shall I give back your friends. Unharmed, of course. <laughs> what is it? Do you think you can best me in combat? Look around you, fool. Behold your position. No, I, I think we have good odds. I think we can do this. The desolation and ruin of the city are all my doing. If you engage my tyrant, he shall obliterate what remains of this miserable city. Oh yes, you are all my prisoners, my vassals, my hostages. Challenge me and your name will go down in history as the tamer who let Ignitia perish. Can you so shoulder such a burden? You will do as I say, Argentavis. You will hunt down Atlanta, and only then we shall speak. No man, I'm getting this battle now. I'm going to defeat you. I always keep my word. Your friends will be safe as long as you serve me, dear Argentavis. Balsamer, open the western exit. The western side of Ignitia has grown colder. A disgusting, chilling aura dares to threaten my power. This has to be Atlanta's doing. Her tyrant must be to the west. You shall find them there. Oh, and don't dare ask Emily for help. Mulsimer will flood this city in the blink of an eye. If I see reinforcements from the guild, this place will burn. Go now! Do not let Nivellus escape! Well, this episode took a turn. We will not be fighting the fire tyrant this episode, apparently. We gotta head to the west to fight the ice tyrant. Let me guess. Jin told you to hunt for Atlanta as well. Yep. I guess this is a great place for tyrants to hide since dragons don't usually hunt down here. But why did one attack us? Talk about unlucky. Still, defeating Atlanta wouldn't be a bad thing, right? Take this stuff. It'll help you. Well, you're a gold tamer. Why don't you just do it if he already asked you? Let's get moving. The sooner we get rid of Nivellus, the better. All right, we're working as a team. All right. So this episode wasn't the episode we fight the fire tyrant. And it's getting... Oh, should we just keep it going? Should we just keep it going and fight the fire tyrant? Or the, uh, the frost tyrant? It's going to be a little bit of a longer episode tonight. But let's do it. Let's try to get to the Ice Tyrant. Yeah, yeah, I know about the recent Tyrant attack, but I can't do anything about it. I'm not strong enough. Perhaps you can help me train for a bit. Maybe someday I'll be hunting Tyrants like myself. Or be a pro. Like my... I can't remember what she said. <laughs> Explosive water. Let's do it. Level 16. They're getting tough. Okay, it's frozen. Thank God. Okay, we can just hit him with a weaker move. Unfrozen already, just like that. Trebly, I think that's a starter as well. A mineral. Frostbite. Oh, we should have used a faster attack. Ah, oh, idiot. All right, we will be fighting the Ice Tyrant Nivellus again. In this epic episode number 10. An episode filled with unex unexpected surprises, like a, a failed recording with no audio. Crunch was level 15. We've been using Crunch quite a bit. I knew it. I'm still a beginner at this. Thanks for the fight, though. No problem. Item up here. Tempest Shard. 
I didn't mean to land on that. Okay, we don't need to fight this guy. Okay, we did it. We don't need to fight this guy either. We need to get going. Alright, we made it. Okay, this is where we started though, so that was useless. We're heading to the west. To fight the frost giant. I almost don't want to even fight you. Let's do it. Wait. What? You don't want to fight me either. Okay, we'll carry on. He doesn't want to fight me either. This guy's frozen. We'll fight those guys on the way back. Uh oh, something's happening. Ice! This looks this looks familiar. Look over there, the ground is frozen. This had to be Atlanta's doing. A place like this, frozen? Are you are you sure that she's weakened? She's been running from one place to another. She can't be much stronger than the last time. Alrighty, this can't be so bad. If we beat Nivellus, we'll be legends. Come on, lads, we got work to do. I've already beat Nivellus once. But as they say, Nivellus was weakened. Nivellus was weakened. So, if Nivellus is stronger now, we might have a challenge. Oh no. More of these. Okay, I believe this is here for me to use it. So I will. I will use it. Getting some shards all day long. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Fighting Nivellus once again. How do you keep on fighting me? Well, you froze a volcano. Oh yeah, I suppose I did. So Jin has hired new thugs. Is he afraid to fight me himself? Who cares if Nivellus is not at full strength? I used to be a guild tamer myself. Come and try me, scrubs. Yeah, that's kind of f fishy. Oh, they... He has four Nexamon. Oh, crap. Okay, good thing we have two electric types. We also have one fire. And we have two waters, so this might not be the easiest battle. But uh, we're gonna lose Noki already. That's okay, because we can always switch it. That is what Cronchu evolves into? Domigator? That thing is sick. That is a beast. All right. Maybe we should save Chert until we, we need him. So let's do Zuma. Hopefully Zuma can do a bit of damage. Zuma's only level 13, and this guy's uh, level 17. Don't kill me. We only do 11 damage? Maybe we can get an effect on him, demotivate him, or puzzle him. If we even live. If, if we even live. Oh, he went first. It didn't work. What is that? Typhoon? That is awesome. Thunder it. Never mind. We, we died. This is going to be tough. I'm going to save Porky until the end when we need to use Revive. So let's go, Croncho. Level 15. You've... You haven't failed me yet. You've been amazing. Water Blast, 18 damage. That's solid. I can handle that. He does only 11, but he has more health. Then he did 29, and then confuses me, and then kills me. Holy crap. Sorry, I hit the mic. I'm so nervous here. Okay, Churn, we're just going to have to use you now. We're going to have to use you now. He switches to Domigator. Okay. Electric Force is strongest. Is our strongest one. Let's do it. He misses. We do 25 damage. Good job. We can finish it off with a Pulse Storm, I'm sure. We do. Come on, Churin. The one-legged chicken man. You can do this. Okay. Electric Force it. He only does 5 damage. Okay. This not very effective uh, uh, on us is what's going to help us win. 177 HP. Hopefully he's not attacks aren't that strong. Okay, 16 damage. It's not that bad, but we're gonna need a whole lot more Churins to be able to, to beat to beat this guy. 
We're gonna run out of stamina. We're gonna run out of HP. We're gonna have to use a heck of a lot of revives and potions. I don't know if we're strong enough for this. But let's try a Pulse Storm and finish him off. We do! Exactly! 13 damage, and he had exactly 13 health. Here comes Nivellus once more. We're gonna use Electric Storm. It, it uses... No, actually Electric Force, because then we can use it twice without getting tired. I was gonna say Electric Storm, because it has a chance of paralyzing, but we'll stick with Electric Force. We do 28 more damage. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. I'm just gonna use a... a potion. Oh, that won't fully heal him. We'll use a super potion. We'll buy some more. I'm sure we'll get some good gold. Use a super potion. Oh, but he's run He's almost out of stamina. All right, it's no no problem. Churin doing 27 damage at a time. We're gonna give you some stamina. We're gonna give you 50 stamina. I know it's not that much, but it should be enough. Nivellus is the last guy left, and Churin is just kicking ass. Let's do an electric storm. He does 22 damage, he has 50 HP left. We'll do Electric Force next. Nivellus does not do that much damage, which is, thank God. We have just enough stamina for another Electric Force. Nivellus is down to five health. Churrent is almost dead. Let's switch it out to Griff. Let's see if Griff can survive an attack from Nivellus, and let's see if he can go first now. What's our fastest move? Plasma Cannon. We don't go first. I'm just trying to get some extra XP for these guys. All right, we'll go back to Churrent. And finish it off. Oh no. We don't have enough stamina. We might live. We might live. We don't. We don't live. It's just Borky left. I am not risking it. I am reviving. I'm gonna revive. Oh man, Churn did all that work and he's not gonna get any XP. I'm gonna have to revive. But this could be a good opportunity to give someone else a lot of XP. But if they die, it's over. We're gonna revive Churid. I'm also gonna use one revive on Griff. Griff has an XP booster. He's doing a lot of HP. We're just gonna Pulse Storm it. We missed. All right. All right. Churin took down, I believe, I believe all four, if not at least three of them. We got 457 coins from that. Churin got 664 XP. Griff, who did not uh, do much of the battling, he got 285 XP. Griff levels up to level 14. Churin levels up to level 18. Griff is evolving. Griff is evolving. Griff is evolving. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this one. Oh yeah! Griffgar! Holy crap, he's gonna be a useful asset to the team now. I feel like Griff was a little on the weaker end. But now that he's Griffgar, he's evolved. His moves are good. Now his stats will be good. Oh my god. Look at that! I'm so glad we kept Griff. Holy crap. Holy crap. This has been an amazing, mind boggling episode. Don't you see what's going on? Jin is a vile renegade. He won't honor his deal with you. But you tried to eat us. Nivellus, come with me. Uh-oh. Hold on, you coward. There's no escape. Watch me, losers. Oh, crap. We were supposed to knock him out. Curses, she prepared a warp storm just for this. She's a former guild tamer, so she had access to the network all along. Hey, there's a strange location in this warp stone. The southern region of Ignitia, huh? Didn't Jin block the southern area with a wall of fire? Is he trying to hide something? Well, we can't go back empty-handed, can we? Jin won't release the hostages now, so let's go find out his secret. Let me know whenever you're ready to go, Argentavis. We will be ready by the time we start the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in to this super-duper long, amazing, epic... Uh, it had some amazing successes and a few minor failures but thank you so much for tuning in if you enjoyed this episode you don't want to miss the next one we're going to uncover the secret that Jin is hiding from us so thank you so much for tuning in check me out on instagram and twitter at argentavis games more information in the description see you guys there